And welcome back to Portland Today. Uh, this is a real treat to me. We have in studio the authors of France is a Feast. And there you see the picture, of course, of the wonderful Julia Child, who passed away 2004. Is that right? Am I right on that? Uh, Alex Prudhomme and then uh, Katie Pratt. You both met her. In fact, Alex, you're telling me you were related yeah, to Julia Ms. Yeah, Julia was my great aunt. Uh, her husband, Paul, was the twin brother of my grandfather. And they never had kids, so I grew up with them. And then a lot of the, the photos in the book were, were taken by Ms. Child's husband. Am I, yes, am I by right? Paul Child in when they were living in France in the 1950s. So th this is the, uh, kind of an intimate story in that family photos of her journey uh, of success to become probably the, the world's, I'm going to say the best known chef or, or cook ever. Is that fair? Well, Julia, uh, the, the book shows photographs of Julia while she was learning to cook. This was back before she was famous. So that's kind of a neat insight oh, sure. into seeing her uh, learning about France and its food. And uh, Paul, her husband, was a diplomat, brought her over there, encouraged her cooking. Uh, so it's a great kind of slice of time. We're seeing some of the, the wonderful uh, photos here. A, a favorite uh, part of the book or a favorite photo between the, the two of you? Well, there's one of uh, Julia coming through a gate with sunlight streaming behind her, uh, and she just it looks luminous, and it's a, it's a beautiful picture. Oh, wow. And, and yourself, Katie? I love the photograph called Salon Leo, and it's a photograph of a child and a dog sitting in front of a restaurant in Paris in the 1950s. So how rare are these photos? Because these were uh, the family's photos. These photos have never been seen by the public before, the and they've been time. Paul's archive at Radcliffe in uh, Cambridge, Massachusetts. And um, Katie got permission from Julia before she died to do this book as a tribute to Paul. So you're telling a story that I feel like hasn't been told about a part of her life, and that must have been the inspiration, such so many stories that need to be told. Yes, and part of the inspiration was that I grew up knowing Paul Child as well. I met him when I was two, both Julia and Paul, and I wanted to pay tribute to him and his wonderful work and sh show the, the larger audience how talented he, he was as a photographer. And then, and then getting back to Miss Child, I mean, to me, there is just something about her. If she was talking, if she was on the Today Show or Good Morning America or you know, one of our national shows here in the States, she was captivating. What do you think it was about her that just grabbed the attention of people across the world? She had a natural charisma. You know, she could talk to anybody from a grumpy waiter to the best chef in America. And uh, she loved what she did. And she, she made it accessible to people. Um, when she made a mistake on the television, she'd just say, ah, well, don't worry about it. Nobody's in the kitchen with you. <laughs> yeah, move on. Uh, and people really related to her. Yeah, I, I, I enjoyed my memories of seeing her very much. And as Paul said, she could charm a polecat. Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Now, the book, Amazon, it's at Powell's. Is it on Amazon? I guess I should Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Powell's, yep. Support and, your independent bookstore, absolutely. And again, yeah. France is a feast. Well, we didn't have much time, but, but thank you for being thank here you so very much. much. Thank and you. Merci and bon appétit. Bon appétit. <laughs>